Hello everyone, my name is Nick Fife, and welcome to French Horn Fancy. Let me introduce you to my new co-host, Fancy. Excuse me, that's Dr. Fancy. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize you had a doctorate too. Where'd you go to grad school, Fancy? I have an honorary doctorate from the University of Being Freaking Adorable. Oh, okay. Sorry, Dr. Fancy. Won't happen again. Well, today I would like to talk to you all about the rambunctious lip trills in Dvorak's 8th Hold Sim... on. Why don't you explain how to do a lip trill first? Good idea, Dr. Fancy. As I explained in the first episode of the trilogy, lip trills are dependent on the overtone series. And the practice of lip trilling comes from the era of the valveless natural horn. When I was in high school, I traveled up to the Cincinnati Conservatory of Music and got a lesson with Randy Gardner. And he explained lip trilling in a way that made it click for me right there in the lesson. And the way he described it was you're driving down a two lane country road. And you can either go from lane to lane or you could go to the center line and wiggle. And of course this isn't the way you would actually drive, but if you're thinking about the two lanes as the two different notes, it makes sense to find the space in between the notes and to maneuver there instead of going the full distance from lane to lane. Normally lip trills are a whole step apart. So for this example, let's use the third space C and the fourth line D. Now, I would like to show you an exercise that has helped me. I start on that same C and then bend slowly up to the D and back down to the C with the goal of steadily increasing the speed until it starts to trill. It takes pretty fast air to facilitate a lip trill. And one way I like to help facilitate that is by using different vowels. Um, and that helps to flip from note to note. So I like to think about ah for the lower note and e for the higher note. Ah, ye, ah, ye, ah, ye, ah, ye, ah, ye, ah, ye, ah. Okay, talk about Dvorak now. Good idea, Fancy. Dr. Fancy. Sorry. We will be isolating a passage from the fourth movement of Dvorak's eighth symphony. This passage starts at letter C. Now this particular excerpt is really interesting because the first and second horns need to use a combination of lip trills and valve trills. The first trill on the F is a lip trill from an F to a G and I recommend using the trigger. The second trill is a valve trill from E to F, and that's pretty obvious, just trigger two for the E up to trigger for the F. And then the last trill is a lip trill on a D, where you use trigger one and two to trill from the D to the E. Recordings in this video feature the Square Brass Quintet performing an arrangement of Dvorak's Eighth. The orchestral recording is James Levine with Stotz Capel Dresden. Oh yay, yummy treat! Yum, yum. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.